Hello everyone and welcome to your Swim Survival. I'm hoping to bring back this series here on my channel. If you are unfamiliar, I played Swim Survival, Swim being an equestrian mod for Minecraft with so many new things added for horses, over on my Twitch channel. I loved streaming this with you all and decided to start a fresh new world for us to play in. These are the mods I have installed. Let's get into it. I actually played for about four hours or so and made some good progress with lots of materials gathered. But if you don't know, I take forever to find somewhere I want to live. And I have a list of must-haves today. I want to be somewhere relatively flat for easy building, potentially near a village because it would be cute to be like the local farmer and have some friends. I love the lavender purple biome that comes with biomes of plenty, so it would be super cool to have that at least nearby. Alongside maybe a redwood forest? I also want it to be relatively close to the ocean, as dried kelp comes in very useful with swim crafting recipes, and the ocean being a pretty good resource for that. I also preferred not to be on top of caves, but sometimes that is inevitable, as we will find out. Now, I ended up doing something pretty dumb at the end of this first playthrough, which ended in my death, and I felt pretty disheartened and motion sick, so I decided to scrap the world and start new. I love... what are they called? Red... red trees? <laughs> Big boy trees, big red trees, Clifford the big red dog. Trust me, you didn't miss much. You know what they say, third time's the charm. Upon spawning in, I was actually pretty happy with our spawn location. We chopped down our second first tree, managed to find some wool. I'm so sorry! Pretty easily, so we could make a bed or a sleeping bag. Thank you! and even found a big ravine with our first bit of iron. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh my god, why did that scare me so much? Oh. <laughs> now the first thing I do in my survival world is obviously look for my permanent home location. Otherwise my inventory was going to get full really quickly. I didn't want to since I spent full days searching the ocean in my last attempt. But we were already near a big ocean, so I made a boat and set out. I was having flashbacks as I spent the rest of the day on the boat, conscious that I was slowly getting hungrier as I hadn't found any good food sources yet. We watched an absolutely gorgeous sunset as we rode in the boat. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Dude, this thing is massive! And not long after dark, we did end up finding a little island which we could call home for the night. When we woke up, I realized there was another little island just beside us. This island had some bamboo on it that I took because I thought building with scaffolding in the future might be easier in survival. And we got our first bit of watermelon, which would be our food until we could find some wheat for bread. Yet again, I had to set out on the boat into the seemingly never-ending ocean. Please be big land. But we ended up finding another beautiful tropical area. There was lots of rice in the water, which I know I am harvesting wrong if you know the mod. I love the Pam Harvestcraft mods and the Farmer's Delight mod. And in the original Swim Survival series, we spent a while looking for rice to make food. So I was pretty excited we found some quickly. Unfortunately, we don't have the seeds. Nevertheless, we also looted another portal before almost falling to my death when getting out of the boat. <gasps> that was so rude. Oh my gosh. On the third day, we managed to find what I'm going to deem the most perfect place that I have found, including yesterday's few hours of searching. There was a beautiful lavender biome with redwood trees in the distance. We were a relatively short walk from the ocean as well. I didn't fully explore around the area. I didn't want to give up my perfect place. I actually wanted to do something other than search for a home this time round. There was even horses already here. Horses! Oh my gosh, so many horses. I think I found home. I started by putting down all of our belongings and finally emptying my full inventory. 
We made a campfire to give ourselves a cozy atmosphere. I then noticed that we were also next to a village. No shot. Oh my gosh, all my dreams are coming true. Ah. <laughs> in the first house we checked in, we found a saddle in the chest. Although swim horses do need their own special saddles, we actually need to convert a normal horse into a swim horse. So having the saddle was going to make it easier to catch our first wild horse. I also saw a few cats in the village, which I attempted to befriend. Unfortunately, that did not happen on the three pieces of fish I had. No! I also used the village to set our spawn point at one of their beds. The sleeping bag mod I have doesn't set your spawn, but at least the village was nearby. I wasn't ready to give up the camping life yet. It was only day three and this playthrough was already doing a thousand times better than my previous recording. Things were looking up. <laughs> Good morning, world. On the fourth day, I chopped down some trees to build a temporary paddock. I felt bad about capturing a horse so early on when I was nowhere near ready for a swim horse, but I wanted to make sure the horses weren't going to magically disappear when the time came around for one. I, of course, went for the paint horse. Although this doesn't guarantee that we are going to get a paint swim horse, I could always dream. I made camp feel a bit more like home by placing down a log with some moss carpet, like I had seen around the wild. And I prepared myself and tried to psych myself up as I knew it was coming a time where I would need to venture into the mines, specifically for some cantazerite, which would be one step closer to getting our swim horse. It was officially cave day. I started by placing some torches around our campsite to hopefully decrease the amount of mobs which might spawn at night so I don't wake up with a creeper in my bed. I contemplated going into one of the caves I had unfortunately realized surrounded my house quite a bit. <gasps> nah, 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 nah. I don't want to do it. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But I decided to see if I could find a more open one a little further out. I got this. Don't even worry about it. What the heck is that? What is that? Ew. Ew! I don't like that. No. No, 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 no. Oh, when did I get so scared of the caves? Ew. Ew. No, not a baby! Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't do this. Come at me, bro. Okay, that's all right! I managed to fend off the remaining mobs and collect a few extra ores before I booked it home as quick as I could to regroup my thoughts. I knew I needed the Cantazerite potion, and to make said potion, I would need a brewing stand. Not only that, but some blaze powder as well to actually make the potion. So I was left to either go to the nether, or use the swim mod crafting recipe, which would require ender pearls. I didn't like the sound of either of those options. I ended the day by dyeing my sleeping bag purple and sleeping under the stars. I confidently left bright and early on day six, having decided to search for a village in hopes of acquiring a brewing stand. This wouldn't solve my blaze powder problem, but it would be a step in the right direction. Full of procrastinating, at least I was doing something. <laughs> I saw some of those cobwebs, which just sent shivers down my spine, I hate them, but also some weird objects I hadn't come across before. What the heck is that? What the heck? <gasps> it's an egg! Oh my god, it's an egg! Nah, ew, 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 that was disgusting, ew, oh my gosh, I have shivers, ew, oh! I, uh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I just did that. Oh. oh. 
I still get shivers looking back at that. Ugh. I traveled for not too long. Well, almost the whole day before stumbling upon a village. Yay! I don't know what happened, but I did kind of flood the village a bit. It wasn't me. I don't know what happened. I mean, I just gave them a new waterfall feature. I then continued looting the village and we found a brewing stand. Heck yeah, look at that. I spent the night in one of the village's homes. On the seventh day, I woke up ready to leave the village and head back home, but I was doing one last check of the place and I found the cutest cat and I once again had the urge to tame it. I went to the nearby river to get myself some salmon and when I go back, the cat loved me on the first piece of fish. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, why did I just get so excited over a Minecraft cat? Oh my gosh. You're so fluffy! Oh my gosh, look at your little whisket. Hi! Oh my gosh, you're purring. You're purring! Thus began one of the scariest heart-pounding adventures of my life. If you know, you know. At every water source, big mountain, I was turning around and checking on our new fairy friend. What's the best way to do this, huh? Do you swim? You can do it, bestie! Oh, I left my bedroll in the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, have some fish. There you go. Oh my gosh. Let's avoid the lava pit. Be careful of the big ravine. When we got home, it was already getting dark and I had nowhere to sleep. I decided to make some shears and try and get some wool before it was too late. Did you just give me three? Oh my gosh, you did. Oh my gosh, but they both did. Wait, you can't make it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I went out again, this time to be distracted by the sound of an enderman. I could get the much needed enderpearls right now. Holy moly, an enderman. I see an enderman. I don't know how to kill an enderman. I ah! Holy moly, don't bring them back to your house. What are you doing? An enderman, an enderman. Unfortunately, where there are endermen at night, there are also hordes of other mobs. I ended up sleeping in the village. At the start of the eighth day, I was ready to give up on my quest for an enderman, at least for now, when I heard that sweet, sweet sound. And it tempted me enough to find it. I need to really quickly make a little thing. Come get me! Hi, buddy! <gasps> quickly. Oh my gosh. Is it stuck? Oh my god, it's stuck. It's not stuck, I repeat! Did it die? No, it is stuck. <laughs> Oh my god, it teleported. Ah! I mean, I'm not scared, what the heck? That's the scariest sound ever. Oh my god, I need to fortify this more. Ah! Ah! I'm not scared of you! As long as you give me an enderpearl! Please. Oh my gosh, I was so brave for you. Defeated, I went back to shearing sheep and collecting materials for a silly project I had thought of overnight. I started building a new structure for our camp. This continued into the ninth day as I spent the day building and collecting materials. even harvesting some of our first fruit from the wild trees. Oh my gosh, it works. I got cherries. We got a cherry tree. Ow! Oh my gosh. <laughs> the big day 10 signified the end of building our little and something special was going to go inside. But first, I wanted to cut down our first jacaranda, aka okay, purple tree. I want to make the buildings colorful and build in ways that I haven't really before. I made sure to replant the saplings I got as these trees are very precious to me. 
I then placed our all important brewing stand inside our little potion tent before smelting some cantazerite into dye and going to get some sand to make some bottles. I was fully procrastinating the dreaded task which is getting the blaze powder, getting everything else ready before it. Unfortunately though, once all was finished and everything placed inside the brewing stand, I realized I really needed that blaze powder. To make myself happier, I finished the day by decorating the campsite a little bit and admiring it before giving our cat some fish and deciding to push him or her over to the fire so that cat felt a bit more included. I did get scared and jumped in the bed, paranoid a creeper was going to spawn behind me. And that brings us to day 11. I hope you guys did enjoy the editing style of this video. I had so much fun and I'm kind of really proud of it because I know that like on my channel, you're here for the horses and swim. Survival obviously has a lot of Minecraft aspects of grinding for materials, building ourselves a teeny tiny little tent. And I really actually wanted to get a swim horse today, but I have just realized that we have way, I know, way too much stuff that we still need to do because I want to be as prepared as possible when we get our swim horse. You know, we got to make sure we can feed the little guy or the little girl. <laughs> we don't know yet. We got to water. We got to have a shelter. We got to have a lot of other stuff. And I'm just not ready to do that in today's video. I've run out of time. So I'm really sorry that swim survival is lacking a bit of swim, but... In the next episode, if you guys want to see it, we're going to be getting a swim horse and building our very first horse stable structure thing. But I'm not leaving you guys just yet because I want you guys to comment below names for our little cat here. Uh, he or she is very fluffy. I love the whiskers and very talkative and a little bit adventurous. So if that helps you with some name suggestion vibes, we also will need a name for the horse. So you can drop names below, but we don't know whether this horse is going to be a mare or a gelding or a stallion, sorry. And we also don't know what the actual coat is going to look like. We can use lapis and redstone to change the coat co uh, color, but that's like going to use a lot of redstone and we haven't found any yet. Also, you guys, I have a plan to get enderpearl, so stay tuned until next time. If you want to check out me trying this 1.20.1 version of Swim for the first time, including things like the flying horses that you can get, like the armor, and also trying out breeding for the first time and stuff, then you can click the video on the screen. Otherwise, you can also check out one of my Swim roleplay videos that is also on the screen. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all later. Bye!